Isaiah chapter 13 and verse 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Haracha Akwadash, for giving me the spirit to do this lesson. Double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth in sincerity. They steered us well and they rule well. Salutations to the hopeful elect. May the blessing of election be upon your house. This the brother Zion coming at you with another lesson. To feed the lambs through the Holy Spirit. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Today's lesson is entitled, A Message to You Women. Okay? A Message to You Women. Okay? You need to understand that in the kingdom, it's going to be all about the man. Okay? You women have gotten your glory on this side. Okay? And this a beautiful thing that the Most High made it work out that way. All right? But in the kingdom, it's going to be just like how this brother is right here, man. You know? More precious than fine gold. You understand? Isaiah 13 and 12. I will make a man more precious than fine gold. Right. Because on this side, the man is nothing. The man is on a lower level. All right. Then the woman. The woman is held at a high regard. Okay, just pay attention to how let's use it in this, um, an aspect of um, going to the club, for instance. The woman can shit. She go through, she go to the club, she get in free, she get all this, man. She get free drinks. Some women don't even have to even bring money, man. But on this side, a man is only loved on what value that he bring. Little do you know is that a, a, a true man of the Lord brings a lot of value. Salvation. A woman will be saved from childbearing. All right. And that's something you need to understand of you women. OK. I will make a man more precious than fine gold, even a man than the golden wedge of Ophir. And last time I checked, everybody loved gold, man. And the man is going to be surpassed beyond that. Abaratazah, most high willing, we are a part of that number. OK. Isaiah. Chapter 4 and verse 1. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man. And that number seven is synonymous to completion. But it's going to be more women than that. Okay. Saying we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. So they're going to have their own food. They're going to have their own bras, their own panties. You know, their own food, water. Only let us be called by thy name. They want to be married. They want to have sex. Sex is marriage. They want to be called by your name, brother. And at that point, you can pick and choose who you want to deal with. You know? You might want to take that woman in or women in. Or you might want to kick their hand away. Go get judged. Shoo shoo. 
go into the abyss of judgment. That's going to be your choice. Okay. To take away our reproach, right? That shame. Our women is shameless. Okay. Our women are shameless. They are not humble at all. A shameless woman shall be counted as a dog, man. That's why Yahabah Shema always said, don't give your strength to a woman. But I got first Ezra through the spirit, chapter four and verse 26. Yea, many there be that have run out of their wits for women. And become servants for their sakes, right? And when you become a servant to your woman, that's when you going the fuck off. Okay? And you women are so proud to the point where y'all want a man to be y'all servant. For real. Once you read the scriptures, you will find out that the women are really insignificant, if you will. It's all about what the man wants, the man, the man, the man. And that's how it's supposed to be because it's order. It's out of order for the woman to be first. That's sowing confusion. First Corinthians chapter 11 and verse three. But I would have, you know, that the head of every man is Hamashiach. And the head of the woman is who? Listen good. The man. And the head of Hamashiach is the most high. You see, that's the proper order. Everything must be done decently and in order. Okay. So in the kingdom. It's going to go back to his righteous order. Yahweh. Yahweh Shai, the man, the woman. Simple. Simple and plain. It's plain across tables. But you women, y'all gotta humble down because if you're not pro because if you're not humble now, and if you don't change, the only way you gonna know it is death by pain, baby. So, y'all women, this is the time to keep your shit wired tight. And if you a single woman, start shooting your shot to true men of the Lord. Jake Eve loved to eat. Jake Eve is a eating up ass. She loved eating. But the elect is going to eat in that day. And why is that? Because the true man of the Lord going to have that spiritual power. We'll close out with this. Isaiah chapter 65 and verse 13. Therefore, thus saith the Lord power, behold, my servant shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servant shall drink, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servant shall rejoice, but ye shall be ashamed. You understand? The servants. A Yahabah Shema Washah going to eat and drink in that day. Okay. So it's imperative that you women start shooting your shot to true men of the Lord. A man is known by his look. A man is known by his fruits. All right. It's crunch time. It's fourth quarter. Get down or lay down. Get along or get on. All right. Verse 14, behold, my servant shall sing for joy of the heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. We'll close out with one more. I got Micah chapter seven in verse 10. This will be the last verse. Then she that is mine enemy shall see it and shame shall cover her. Which said unto me, 
Where is the Lord thy power? Mine eyes shall be her shall behold her. Now she shall be trodden down as mire of the streets. And that is going to be literal in that day. So it's imperative that you women humble down. OK, and if you got a man of the Lord, stick with that man, because that's your lot. That's your trial. Stick with that man and you will get delivered with him. He that believeth on Yahweh Shah Hamashiach shall be saved and the house. You are a part of that house, Jake Eve. So make sure that you recognize and reverence your husband. You know? When he come in from camp, rub his feet. Ask him how his day going. Are you happy? What's going on with you? Because when the man say that he all fucked up in his mind about something, you always make it about you anyway. It ain't about you. So keep your shit wired tight and Lord willing, we'll see you in the chariots. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Haracha Akwadash, forgive me the spirit to do this lesson. Shalawam, Wa Barakim, La Bahayarium, Akim, Agwatim, Wabayim, Shah Yasha Allah, Washanya, Kawaba, Gatwala, Rakab, Zakwanyam Nawa, Baai. All praises to the Most High, in the name of the Son, in the name of the Spirit, Holy. Peace and blessings to the elect, brothers, sisters, and children of Israel. And double honor, great millstone, our elders in these times. Ha kwam shah yashar Allah, ha kwam shah yashar Allah, ha kwam shah yashar Allah, shema yashar Allah, yahawa, alahayanawa, yahawa, achad. Shema yashar Allah, yahawa, alahayanawa, yahawa, achad. Shema yashar Allah, yahawa, alahayanawa, yahawa, achad. Babu kusha, babu kusha, babu kusha. Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Barak Kal Akim, Rapa Kal Akim, Chazak Kal Akim, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Shamar, Mashbachaya, Akim, Akwatim, Wabayim, Batach, Aywad, Shalach, Magapayim, Adawamim, Wahawah Shai, Wa Abad Baba, Abad Baba, Abad Baba, DTA soon, Abad Baba, we on the next one, Abaratazah, Shalomah.